Hi friends, it's Miss Kendra. Today I'm going to share more 5 Minute Pete the Cat stories with you. Today we're going to start off with Pete the Cat's train trip. Pete the Cat cannot wait to visit his grandma with his mom and his brother Bob. They get to ride on a train. Make sure you don't lose your ticket, says mom. She gives one ticket to Pete and one ticket to Bob. Where do you think you're going? I wonder where they're going. Pete's mom finds three seats together. I can't wait to see grandma, says Bob. I can't wait to explore the train, says Pete. The conductor comes to collect the tickets. Pete hands his over. I love trains, says Pete. Really? I can show you around if you like, says the conductor. Pete nods his head. The conductor gives Pete an engineer's hat. <gasps> Do you guys see his engineer hat right here? Great. Let me introduce you to the engineer, says the conductor. Pete follows the conductor from car to car as the floor rumbles underneath his feet. Wow, Pete says when they get to the caboose. We're going over a bridge. Pete sees his mom and Bob. They're at the snack bar. I got this for you, says Bob. <gasps> what did he give him? It looks like an apple. Pete follows the conductor. He goes to the front of the train. Come in, says the engineer. Wow, Pete says. The engineer shows him the engine and how everything works. The engineer shows Pete the train's brakes. Look, there's a tunnel up ahead. When they go through the tunnel, everything gets dark. Pete gets to honk the horn. Toot, toot. It's so much fun. Once they are out of the tunnel, everything is light again. They're almost at Grandma's house. Pete better get back to Mom and Bob. Thanks for showing me around, Pete says. He learned so much about trains today. Anytime. Have fun with your Grandma, says the engineer. Pete walks back to his seat where Mom and Bob are. It is a much longer walk than he remembered. He stops and meets new friends along the way. They live in different towns. They are getting off at different stops. What a groovy ride. <clears throat> There's Pete's seat. It's good to see Mom again. We are getting off at the next stop, says Mom. Pete is happy he made it back to his seat in time. He can't wait to see Grandma. Toot, toot. Pete looks out the window and sees <gasps> Grandma. He waves at her from the window. Once the train doors open, Pete is the first one off the train. He rushes over to give Grandma a big hug. It feels good. How was the ride over, asked Grandma. It was groovy. I got a cool hat and met the engineer, says Pete. Pete loves riding the train. He even drew a picture of the train for Grandma. Grandma loves it. What a special day. The end. That was the first Pete story I wanted to share with you. The second one is Pete the Cat, Scuba Cat. Pete the Cat is excited. He's in a boat on a beautiful day, and he's about to go scuba diving. <gasps> that sounds like so much fun. Pete puts on a mask and fins. He has a tank full of air so he can breathe underwater. He hopes to see lots of fish. If you are lucky, you might see a seahorse, says Captain Joe. A seahorse, says Pete. I can't wait. I've never seen one before. The ridges look like a horse's mane, says Captain Joe. Groovy, says Pete. <sighs> Pete jumps into the water. He makes a big splash. Down, down, down he goes. Up, up, up go the bubbles. Pete looks for a seahorse. He sees a swordfish instead. Pete swims out of its way so it can pass. I see the swordfish. Do you know why they're called swordfish? Because their noses look like swords. And look, the seahorse was hiding behind him. That's why he didn't see it. P 
Pete waves to a stingray. It has a long, skinny tail. That's not a seahorse, thinks Pete. See his long, skinny tail? Pete feels a tickle on his leg. Pete sees a school of fish. They all look alike, except for one green one. It puffs up. It is a blowfish. It is not a seahorse. Is the seahorse hiding from him? Where could one be? Pete looks at the rocks. He sees something long and purple on the sand. What is that? It's an octopus. It has eight legs. It is not a seahorse. Should we count his legs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pete feels another tickle as he swims. What could it be? Pete turns, but he doesn't see anything near him. He sees a cave. Is there a seahorse inside? We're about to find out. Pete sees a crab with claws. A seahorse does not have claws, Pete thinks. The cave gets darker as Pete swims forward. He is still looking for a seahorse, and he still feels a tickle on his leg. Then Pete sees an eel. Do you guys know which one of these is an eel? This guy right here. It has ridges, but they don't look like a horse's mane. The eel is too long to be a seahorse. And what else is in there with him? A big king crab. <clears throat> Pete keeps swimming farther into the dark cave. Soon it is too dark to see. How will Pete get out? Pete sees a jellyfish. It glows in the dark. Now Pete can swim his way out of the cave. You guys see the jellyfish? He is lit up. He sees a striped angelfish. It is beautiful, but it is not a seahorse. Pete swims out of the cave. I wonder why it is still so dark, thinks Pete. It's because Pete is in the shadow of a whale. Yikes! Pete wishes he could jump on a seahorse and ride away. Do you guys see this fish? An angelfish? Look at that big giant whale. Pete, hope, hop, Pete hops on a sea turtle instead. It, take, it takes him back to the boat. Sea turtles can swim fast. I did not see a seahorse, thinks Pete. Oh well, I still had a great time. But what is tickling my tail? Pete turns and sees a seahorse. What a great surprise, he thinks. There it finally is. Pete had felt the seahorse tickling his fur when he saw the swordfish, stingray, blowfish, octopus, crab, eel, jellyfish, angelfish, whale, and sea turtle. You were with me the whole time, thinks Pete. What a cool adventure. If you guys want to, I'll scoot a little bit closer so we could see the all the things that he saw today. Do you guys know what a swordfish looks like now? Where is the swordfish? There it is, because it has a long nose like a sword. The next one he saw was a stingray. Does anybody see a stingray? I see him. He's right there with his little skinny tail. What's the next thing he saw? A blowfish. Right here, he had little spikes on him, and he's green. And sometimes when blowfish get scared, they puff up even bigger. Next was the octopus. Do we remember how many legs he had? Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs on the octopus. Next, he saw a crab. He kind of blends in with the background. Do you guys see him anywhere? Right there, he's hiding on top of the whale. And an eel. An eel is kind of like a snake that's underwater. He's long and skinny as ridges. Jellyfish. The jellyfish lit up the way so he could get out of the dark cave. They glow in the dark. That one does, at least. An angelfish. 
Oh, the, remember Pete said they were so beautiful. They kind of look like a tiger, but a fish. And a whale, he got scared. He said, yikes, because he was in the shadow of a big giant whale. And last, he saw a big sea turtle. He caught a ride on him. And finally, what was tickling his tail? The seahorse. He had a really cool adventure. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed reading Pete the Cat stories with me. See you soon. Bye.